During this video, I'm going to be showing you just how simple it is to build bonus pages inside of InstaBuilder 2.0. And to show you how flexible this plugin is, I'm going to show you how to build two totally different bonus pages using two live samples. Now the samples that we're going to be using are this one here from Social Contest. We can see it is a full width, it has different graphics and all these different features. And I'm going to show you how to build this page inside of InstaBuilder. And then the next one I'm going to show you how to do is the headliner bonus page here, which looks completely different than the previous one I just showed you. And I'm going to show you how to build this one as well. Okay. I'm also going to show you how to build these from scratch and how to build these using a template. Okay. So you ready to get started? Let's go ahead and dive in and I'm going to go ahead and click on create a new page. And we are going to start by creating the social contest page. And we're going to do that from scratch. So I'm going to click on create from scratch. And first thing first, you're going to see that we get started off with a boxed in content area. So I'm going to delete that since this page is a full width page. I'm going to click on a wide section, bring it over and drop it. And the first thing we need is this black header section up here. So I'm going to change this color to black by going to background color, change that to black. Then we're going to hide that. And since the header is not that long or high or however you want to say that, we're just going to kind of shrink this down a little bit to about right there. And then that kind of lines up with this header here. Next, they have a logo, some text and an image. Now this is columns. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to bring over some columns here, drag it and drop it inside of there. That's white. We don't want that. So we're going to change that to a transparent background. Check that there, hide that. So now we have columns where we can insert an image here, which would be the logo. So I can just copy this image URL here, click and edit this image, paste the URL. And now we have our logo up there, just like on our sample. Now what you would do is you would click over here inside of the column and you would click this plus sign to add one more column because we need a column for the text that you see here. And then you need a column for this other image that you see here. So you would just add another column. You would insert your text here. You would insert an image here. And then you can kind of drag this line here to adjust your columns. So that way your image and your text are over here off to the right, just like inside of here. And that's all you would have to do for the header section. Next up, we have this section here with the headline and the video and the bullet points with a fancy abstract background. Okay, so how you would do that is you would just add a new wide section, click it and drop it just like that there. To change your background to something fancy, like an abstract background, click on the gear symbol, go to background image. You can upload your own image or you can search the images that are already available to you. So I could search abstract, for example, and see what kind of results we get here. And I could choose this one, for example, use this image and you can choose to have it tiled or stretched or whatever you want to do. So I'm going to hide this for now where you're going to expand this a little bit here. And first thing up, we had a headline. So you would just drag your title over here and you would make this your headline. And that text was white. So you put your headline here. They also had a sub headline. So you drag over another text element here. And what you can do is you can make this text white as well center that and you can make it a little bit smaller, right? Because the sub headline wasn't as big as you can see here. Next up, we had a video and then we had bullet points. And again, to implement something like that, you need columns. So you're going to click again and drag over these columns. You don't want the white background. So we're going to go to the background color and make that transparent just like that there. Next, you want your video element and you're going to drag that on one side of the column. And now for the bullet points, I'm going to click and drag another title element over here. We're going to drop it just like that. I'm going to click in here. We're going to highlight it. You are going to make it the color that you wish. I'm going to make my text to white here. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Next, I'm going to click on the bullet list here, and that's going to turn it into uh, a bullet point just like that there. Now, if you want to change that bullet point itself, you can go to formats, bullet, and then we can choose all these different types of bullet points that we have. I'm going to go with a blue check mark just like that there. And then you can have your different bullet points just like that there. Next up, if we click back over here to our bonus page, we have this section here covered. 
We scroll down a little bit and now we have another section with a blue background that has a headline, a countdown timer, and a button. So let's head back over here and get that part built. So you're going to add a new wide section. Drop it there. This one had a blue background. So you go in here to your background color and you can change this to whatever color you prefer. So we'll make that kind of darkish blue it seems. There were no columns in this one. It was just a headline just like that there. So you would center that and that text was white as well. So you would do it like that there and put your headline there. Next they had a countdown timer. So we're going to click and drag and drop it there. And then you're going to edit this countdown timer to match it. Hit your gear symbol. And we have all kinds of different designs that you could choose from to make it look good. So we could do something like that. I'm going to hide the panel. And then they had a button. So we're going to go to the button element, drag it over here and drop it. And then you're going to customize your button to match the style of your page. Now if we jump back over here, next up we had another section with an orange background that had a header. And then it moves on to the bonuses on the page. So to do that, it's fairly simple. You're going to add your wide background section here. Click it down here and drop it. That's going to give us a new section that you can change that to orange or whatever you like. I'm going to shrink this a little bit. And you have the, tech, the title element in there. Given your headline about what's going on with your bonuses. And that would be this section here. Next up is the section that actually discusses the bonuses. Now this one is pretty straightforward as well. It's all just on one main background. So what you're going to do is you're going to click and you're going to drag a new wide section. You're going to drop it at the bottom there just like that. And that one started off with a title element which was a headline. And that one said special main bonuses. You're going to center that. We're going to make that a nice big headline just like that there. And this one said bonus number one. And you would put your bonus here. And we'd center that one, make it a little bit smaller here, just like that. Now if we look back, it kind of goes through and starts listing the bonuses. So this here is going to be another title element, and this here is just a picture. Okay, nothing fancy about that. So you just copy this image URL and or have your own image created, and you would just click the image element and kind of drop it down here at the bottom and insert that image. So we scroll up here, we'll paste the image, just like that there. And then you would have your first bonus listed. Now scrolling through here a little bit more, you're going to see bonus two, bonus number three, bonus number four. They all are the same pattern. We have an image to the left and then we have some content to the right. Well, this is going to be a column. So what you're going to do here is below this first one here, you are going to add in a column and drop it on the bottom there. And on the left hand side is going to be your picture. And on the right hand side, it's going to be your text. So let me go ahead and do one real quick and show you what it looks like. So we're going to copy this image URL for our image over here. We're going to click the image element and drag it and drop it down here. Then we're going to edit this image. We're going to paste the URL for this example. Hide the portal. And now on the right hand side we have a title, bonus number two. Another title that kind of has a headline or call to action. And then some text underneath it. So let's go ahead and build that really quick for this example. We have our title element, so we're going to drop that in the column on the right hand side. This one said bonus number two with a value of $27. So we'll make this a little bit smaller, we'll make that a header three. Then we'll add another text element. Now this one said add attractive banner images in your contest and grab more all eyeballs. So we're going to shrink this down, make it even a little bit smaller then our title there, and then they had one more. So you just use another title element, and we're gonna go ahead and paste what they said. We're gonna highlight the whole thing, and we're going to make that a paragraph just like that there. And of course, you can change the colors of the text how you wish. Now you would do the exact same thing for the bonus number three and bonus number four. Now here we have another background with a headline, kind of like we did up here, a background by itself with a headline, so to create that, you would just do another wide section, drop it at the bottom. It's going to give you a new platform to work with. You would change the color to orange or black or whatever you like. You would shrink this down a little bit. And you would add your text element down there to the new background. And then give that your title. 
Now for the next part, what we have here is we have a table that was created showing the features and the value of all these bonuses combined, okay? So to create our own table, what we can do is we can first gotta add our wide section here. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm just gonna add a column just like that there. And what we can do is we can click inside of the columns. We can go to the gear symbol. We can add a border. So I'm gonna add a solid border of, let's say one pixel going around, kind of like that there. And now we have kind of a little table started of our own. So I'm gonna add a title element here. All right, and this one said features. Shrink that just a little bit. And then we had one over here that said value. And I'm going to shrink that one too a little bit. We're going to center that one. We're going to kind of drag this over a little bit. And then we kind of have our table started. I can just click in here. I can duplicate this. And then I'm just going to go in here and change this features to the very first one that was developer and unlimited license. And maybe for these, shrink these a little bit more to maybe a four or a five, kind of like that. And same thing over here, the value was 497. I will make this a five as well. And then I can just duplicate this one and then go through and add all my different features and keep duplicating it just like that there. And then we have our own little table created just like over here on this. And we can just duplicate it as many times as we need to. So scrolling down, we have just more headlines which I'm pretty sure you know how to insert the headlines by now. Scrolling down further, we have pro bonuses. If they buy the pro package of this product, they get these extra bonuses. Now again, these are the exact same things that we've been building. All they did was add a column and have an image on one side and the headlines and text on the other side. This is the exact same thing that we did right here. They're just redoing it. So you can add another wide section, add another column here just like that and then have your image over here and then your headline and text over here. And they have another section here with a button and a different color background. So once you have all your images in there, you just add another wide section to the bottom here. We can change the background to whatever color we like here. Something like that. Shrink it down a little bit. And then we add our button element and customize our button to match our style of our bonus page. Now, the last thing that this bonus page has is this bottom slider that you see here that you've seen the whole time. It's attached to the bottom of the page and it has a headline, a countdown timer, and a buy now button. So to implement that on InstaBuilder, we are going to click on this gear symbol up here at the top. We are going to go to bottom slider. We are going to enable the bottom slider. We want to make sure that it, you know, it loads every time the page is visited or you can change this however you would like. And then we're going to hide this panel here and now we can edit this here. So I'm going to delete this here, this message that it comes with, we're going to delete that. And now if we wanted to duplicate the way that this one looks, we would need a column, three different columns. Okay, so to do so, we're going to grab our columns here. We are going to drop it down here inside of our bottom slider. We are going to change this background color and make it transparent. Just like that there, I'm gonna click in here. I am going to click the plus symbol to add another column. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag my title element so I can add my headline, my countdown element so I can add my countdown timer, and then my button element to add my buy now button. And of course we can click on this gray background, click on the gear symbol, and we can change the color of our background and make it black or whatever we wanted to do that matches our site. And now we have our bottom slider just like on this bonus page here. And that's just how simple it was to duplicate this page inside of InstaBuilder. Now, of course, it kind of looks sloppy because I didn't go through, I didn't customize everything down to the detail because I didn't want to drag this video out very long. I know that you're in a rush and you just wanted to see how to do it. But hopefully you've seen how we were able to use all the different elements and options that we have inside of InstaBuilder to duplicate any kind of style or setup that they were using on this page here which we did it with ease and it didn't take that long at all. So now very quickly, what I wanna show you is how we can do the exact same thing by using a pre-made template inside of InstaBuilder. So here I am using one of the many sales page templates that is included inside of InstaBuilder. And you can kind of see that it already kinda of looks like it has the same layout as this here. 
So duplicating this page layout is going to be a lot simpler. So for example, we have the black header up here with the images and the text. We already have a header up here. All we need to do is change the background color if we wanted to. We already have our logo up here. And all we need to do is add our text and our image over here. Next up for the video section, we have our headline, our subheadline, our video, and our bullet points. We already have our headline. If we want to add our subheadline, very easy. We can just duplicate this one and then shrink it down a little bit. We already have our video in place and we already have our bullet points in place. If you wanted to add a background image or an abstract background, you can just click in the background over here, click on the year symbol, and then add that image. Scrolling down a little bit more, the next section was the headline, countdown, and button. We already have a section with a button, so it takes no extra effort to kind of just drag the title element over here, drop it above the button, and then we can center this text and make it say whatever we wanted it to say. And then we can do our countdown as well, kind of drop it in between those there, and then customize that the way we want it to look, and we already have our button. And so we already have that section created as well. Now the next section was the orange background with the headline by itself. Now as you can see on our template, we don't have that. We have a section here that's by itself with a headline, but we don't have one here. So we have a few options. For one, we can go ahead and just delete this background right here, which is a good option because nowhere on our bonus page do we have a section that has three columns like this. So I think just going ahead and deleting it is the best option. Another option would be to leave it there for now. And all we have to do is click on this wide section, click it, drag it, and then we can drop it there and add our own section or we can change the background and match the orange color if we wanted to kind of like that there. And then we can add our own title element just like it has on that page, just like that there. So assuming we did that, the next section would be where we start introducing the bonuses with the images and then moving on into the double column option for the rest of the bonuses. So like I said, we have no use for this here. So all I would do is click on the background, go to the delete option, and then delete that part of the template. For this part here, we could easily use this one to introduce our first bonus that we see here. We can add the title text with the image here. We can add those here. So we'd add our image here. We have our title text here. And then underneath that, we need our two column sections for the images and then the bonus text. So here we have a three column section. All we have to do is click on this background and click the minus symbol, click on OK, and that's going to get rid of one of the columns for us. So now we have this two column section already set up. All we have to do is delete the bullet points on this side and add our image. And then over here, we can delete the bullet points and add our title and then our text information about our bonus going all the way down. And it's the same for the rest of the template. If we're not using something, we can simply just delete it. And if we need to add something else in, we can just click on the wide section, drag it over and drop it where we need it, kind of like that there. And that's going to allow us to add any information that we need. Pretty simple, right? Now, I know this video is getting a little bit long, but let me just start from scratch and show you how we can duplicate this one as well really quickly inside of InstaBuilder using the same tools and elements that we use to build this page here. So here I am on a blank canvas. I'm going to delete this option here because this page is a wide section as well. We're going to drop that. The very first thing we need to do is create our headline top up here with a blue background. So it's the same as the last one. You just shrink this up here. You go in, you change the background color and this one was blue. So you kind of make it a blue background color and then you add your title element. Next up, we have another section we need to add. And from here, we need to add another headline. And on this one, they're using line separators. So we have our text element up here. You know, you center that up, you type it out what you want it to say, you make it look nice. And then we have a line spacer that we drag over here. And it gives us this cool little line that you see here. We can go ahead and edit this. We can make it a solid line, a dashed line, whatever you would like. And then that kind of separates our text. Next up, we have a two column section here. We have text on one side and a countdown timer on the other side. So you simply just add your column there, put your text on one side, and then your countdown timer on the other side, another line, and then a button. So you would just simply use your line spacer and kind of drag it over here and drop it underneath that, and then add your button. And make sure you customize all this to make it look nice. And now to create something like this, a line, text, and a line, that's going to be three columns. So you're going to drag your columns over here again. 
we are going to click on the plus symbol to give us three columns. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a line spacer on the far left. And you customize that the way you want it to look. You have your title in the middle. And then you have another line spacer on the right. And that's going to give you the, the line text line effect that you see here, which looks pretty cool. And next up was a video element. So you just kind of drag and drop your video element just like that there. Next up below this video is just some text that you can add underneath your video. Now this next part I want to cover really quick because we didn't have anything like this on the previous page. This might look like it's really fancy and hard to create, but it's not because most of this is just images. Okay. First off, we have an arrow and then some text that looks kind of handwritten that says works with. Okay. So let's go ahead and create that really quick. I went ahead and I went ahead and created my new section with the blue background, just like this here. And the first thing we need to add is a column. So I'm going to bring my column over here. We are going to make this background transparent. And the first thing we need is an arrow over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this gear symbol. I'm going to click on graphics. I'm going to choose arrows from the drop down menu. And that's going to give us a bunch of different arrows that we can use. And of course you can use any kind of arrow image that you have. It doesn't have to be one of these. So I'm just going to click and drag this one. For example, I'm going to drop it in my column over here. I'm then going to shrink it down a little bit. It doesn't need to be that big. And what I would do if I was really copying this page here, I would go out and I would like use Google and just kind of search, you know, hand drawn arrows and graphics and things like that until you find something that looks good to match your page and your color. Next up, we have works with. So for the second column over here, I'm going to enter a title element that says works with. We are going to make that a white text. And then for your font, you're just going to scroll through here and find a font you like. They are using a font that kind of looks handwritten, something like that right there. And also what you're going to notice is the arrow in the works width is kind of off to the left. So we're going to make sure we drag the column here over to the left so that we get both of these to the left side, just like that. Now underneath that, what we have here is we have text and then one big image. We have text again and one big image. So let me show you how to do this first part. All email platforms. That's just a little text underneath the columns like that there. We're going to say all email platforms. We're going to change this to white text just like that there. We can shrink that a little bit more. And then underneath that, it's just an image. So we're going to copy the image URL. We're going to click and drag an image element. Make sure we edit this and paste our URL in there just like that. And now we have our image. We can align it to the left just like that. What you do is you duplicate this here. Click on the clone button there. It's going to duplicate it. And then we drag it and drop it underneath that image and then change all email platforms. Just make it say all video platforms and then copy and paste this image as well. And that's how you would recreate this section here. All it is is text with images. Underneath that, we would add a new wide section with some more text. Again, you would have a two column section here with an arrow and some text pointing down to a video element. And we already know how to create all of this. This is a three column section with the line spacer on the left, the text in the middle and the line spacer on the right. We have more text. And then here we need to kind of recreate these little tables that we have here. We have some images. We have a little table graph with different colors. So let's recreate one of these. Let's do the first one here. Let me show you how to do it. First of all, we have two different columns here for each of these. So what we need to do, we need to add a new wide section here that we're going to use. Let's add a column here. Each column is going to represent each one of these sections. Okay. So let's work on just the left column for now. We have an image that we need to add, which is here. So let's edit that and paste our image. And then next, what we have underneath this image is going to be kind of a little table, right? We have our title, we have our price with a green background, and we have this text here. So now we need to duplicate this. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another column underneath our picture. I'm going to click my gear symbol and edit this, and I'm going to add a border to it, a solid border of one pixel to go around just like that. Then over here, we need to add a title that says Members Pro. Let's shrink that down a little bit, kind of like that there. And then over here, we had a price tag of $47 and it had a green background. 
Well, I can't change the background of this because it's going to make my entire background green. So what I need to do is I'm going to add another column over here. I'm going to drop it on my right hand side and then I'm going to edit just that new column I just dropped. We're going to change the background color to uh, a greenish color because that's what it was on the demo. You know, something like that there. Then I'm going to slide my column over here and make that green part really small, kind of like that there. And then I just want to add some text that says $47, kind of like that there. We can make that a little bit smaller. So something like that. And of course, you can play with it, make it look really nice and get it to look like that. I forgot to add the value word, but you can add the value word. And then underneath that, we have just more text that we can add. So I can just add another column here. Drop it underneath it, add my border. Make that one pixel, shrink it. We can scoot this column all the way over because we're not going to use that part. And then we just add our text element inside of that column and type out our text, okay? And that's all you would do for the rest of these. You would do the exact same thing for all these different bonuses that you see here. And once you get your first one built, you can just duplicate all this information. Once you make this one looking really nice and set up the way you want it, you can just click in here and you can clone these, clone the host section, and then duplicate it over and over. Now, as I'm scrolling through here, you're gonna see how that section just kind of faded in, okay? That's the last thing that I wanna show you is how to make something fade in like that. So let's duplicate this section right here, and I'm gonna show you how to make it fade in. So I'm gonna add a new section at the bottom here. You're gonna change this background to you know how, whatever color for duplicating that section there. It was blue. So we'll just make it a blue background just like that. And then we had our text element in there. Our text was white. Let's center that. Okay, so we have our section here. And let's say we want this one to fade in as someone scrolls to this section. So we're gonna highlight our whole blue background here. We're going to click on the gear symbol. We're going to click on effect. And then for our display animation, we can choose all these different animations that we have for it to come fading in. So I believe on the sample, it just kind of fades in. So on our animations here, if we scroll to the bottom, we have, you know, fade in, fade up, fade down, things like that. So I can go into fade up and let's save our page and kind of see what it looks like when it fades in. So I'll load my page here and as I'm scrolling down, let's see the bottom part of our screen. Cool, we can see it kind of drop from the top, right? Okay, pretty cool, right? And we have all kinds of different animations that we can choose from to make it come in. It can pulse in, you can drop in, things like that. And that's what this page here was using. It was using some type of fade animation. So you can play with those animations and copy that, okay? Now again, I hope that shows you just how flexible Insta Builder 2.0 can be. We can literally create any kind of situation or element that you see on other pages we can create those right here on InstaBuilder 2.0 just by using our imagination and all the different elements that we have to offer.